Section 41 of Councils and Maxims is Schopenhauer's advice about dealing with liars. Here's what he says. If you have reason to suspect that a person is telling you a lie, look as though you believed every word he said. This will give him courage to go on. He will become more vehement in his assertions and in the end betray himself. Again, if you perceive that a person is trying to conceal something from you, but with only partial success, look as though you did not believe him. This opposition on your part will provoke him into leading out his reserve of truth and bringing the whole force of it to bear upon your incredulity. That's the whole section. Two bits of advice about dealing with dishonest people. First, uh, if somebody is lying to you, a bit of reverse psychology, look as though you are completely convinced, and this will goad him on to uh, lie to you more and more outrageously. In the end, he will betray himself. That is, his, his, you can, uh, by your false front, uh, trick him into revealing his own dishonest nature and his lie. And the second, if somebody is trying to conceal something from you, they have a truth and they've let a little bit of it slip out, the way to get the rest of it, Schopenhauer says, is to look completely incredulous. I don't even believe the true thing that you've let slip out, you say. And this will anger him and he will then draw out more and more of the truth that he was initially trying to conceal because simply the fact of your opposing him, of your refusing to believe the, the, the truth that he let slip out will, will make him angry and will uh, cause him to reveal to reveal more of it uh, simply in order to get the better of you. In both cases here, I think we have some advice from Schopenhauer that amounts to using the, the peculiarities of human social nature, our desire to be believed or uh, to overcome opposition and incredulity in people we're, we're lying to or concealing things from. Uh, this can be used to your advantage to obtain the truth where people would rather that you didn't have it. Uh, we also have a reference here going backwards a couple of sections to vehemence, right? If you can provoke this liar to become increasingly vehement in his assertions, this is in the end going to betray him, right? This is again a feature of uh, a person who's not risen to a certain kind of wisdom and self-control and peace of mind. That, that that's, uh, goes along with the idea of uh, the cool and the, the coolness and passionless of passionlessness of truth and wisdom. So that's Schopenhauer's advice on dealing with liars and concealers of the truth. Uh, take the opposite tack and uh, provoke them into giving you the truth that they would rather you didn't have. We'll take a look at section 42 in the next video. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.